Morning, Misty. I hope you don't mind. I brought Dotty to keep me company. Ah, just in time. Where are you going, Mystic? Somewhere meditative? Or historical? Ooh, ooh, I know. A tranquil meditation retreat up in the Himalayan mountains? Oh, no. I'm meeting up with a few of the other elders from our annual Molly stance. We dress up with brightly colored robes, strap bells to our legs, and dance around a pole while hitting sticks. Okay, I would not have guessed that. Well, the temple is in safe hands. Dotty and I are going to stay the night. Perfect. Now let me show you my new addition. Did you hear that, Squirm? They're going to be all alone. This is our chance. Do you see that hole in the roof? That leads directly up to the Molosseum. And I have the perfect plan. Come on! It's so kind of you to look after everything while I'm gone. Especially my new flying friends. They need feeding twice a day or they get a little cranky. Flying friends? scared of. They're just butterflies and moths. Wow, Mystic, this place is awesome! The moths can be a little bit of a nuisance sometimes. Ow, oh, come back, you big scaredy book. And don't worry, everything is in safe paws. Oh, I almost forgot. I would stay away from the altar. I had Mishmosh install a security system, but it is still a little glitchy. Okay, Mystic, we've got this. You know what? I have an idea. That garden would be the perfect place for a spot of yoga and meditation. How about I teach the two of you? Yoga? What's yoga? Yoga is a physical and mental discipline aimed at stilling the mind. Hmm, maybe it'll calm money down a bit. Oh, come on, silly. Trust me, you're both gonna love it. Right, my little squirrel stillskin. This is the plan. First, we have to distract the guard. See how you get on. Utana Panasana, the flying fish pose. <laughs> Very good. Now, Otto Muka Svanasana. This is the downward dog, obviously. <laughs> We can try meditation to relax our mind. Molly, you ready? Oh, a little help here, please. Oh, looks like Manny has a new friend. Oh, that reminds me. We better feed them. Come and get it. Dinner. Uh, Molly, I'm not sure that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no, you're tickling. Stop it, please. Oh, oh. oh no, not me. Oh, it's oh, so tickling. Ah, stop it. Oh. 
Just yet. Mummy, a little help over here, please. That's better. Oh, look at the two of those cuties. I guess we better set up camp. Woohoo! Right, Squirm. Looks like they're getting ready for sleep. Time to put our plan into action. For a snack. We need to focus. This is our chance. This is all 
all your fault, Squirm. Come on, let's go home. Hey, Mystic. Did you have fun? Ah, I did indeed. Anything happen while I was gone? No, it was pretty quiet. Although Manny has a new friend. <laughs> That's odd. Where did my gummy sweet go? Blast that mole and that book. Where's your home, Manny? Last one to the door is a slimy snail. Seems to be, uh, huh? Ah! Oh, we better tell the others. It was a figure like a mole, only far bigger, over two feet tall. A strange purplish glow. So much glowier than a mole, but definitely glowing. What was it? I don't know for sure, but it wasn't like anything I've seen before, or anything like anyone has seen before. Except you. And, uh, Manny. Manny saw it too. I don't know, Mowgli. It roams the tunnels at night. Who knows what it could be? Aliens? Aliens? It's aliens, I tell ye. I know all about them. He knows the truth. Molly doesn't know, but that old coot seems to. No. Come on. The old coot's head is full of conspiracy theories. Aliens, sure. Hey, I didn't say aliens. He did. Bones from outer space. It's all here in this ancient tome I found in the recycling yard. See? They're coming for us. And if we don't stop them, they'll zap you with their zappers, beam you with their beamers, and poke you with their pokers! Aliens, they must come from that town next door. Duh, utter nonsense. Hmm, I don't know. That does look an awful lot like what I saw. Maybe he's not so cuckoo after all. Hey, guys, Molly thinks the old coot is right. What? Hang on. No, I didn't say that. He said exactly that. The Keeper thinks it's aliens. He says that's what he saw. The Keeper says it's so. It must be true. The Keeper believes. Aliens are going to zap us. I don't want to get zapped. Ah! Molly, we got to do something. Mole Town is in a panic. I didn't mean to worry anyone. I was just telling them what I saw. An alien. Oh. Quiet, you. Look, the only way to calm everybody down is to find out the truth. That there are no such things as moles from outer space. But what if there are? I mean, if there are, then that would be awesome! There would be space asteroids, and laser sword battles, oh, oh, and maybe giant mole-eating plants! 
Okay, that's kind of scary, actually. You really think so? Well, I don't believe it for a second, but as I do love an investigation, and we all know that I do, I'll humor you. We can call it the M-Files. Either way, we need scientific proof. Or even non-scientific proof. Any proof will do. Alien, huh? If that grubby little mole is looking for an alien, we'll <laughs> give him an alien. And while he's wheezing with fright, oh, snatch up that book of his. Great Scott! Aliens, you say? It's not an alien. It's definitely aliens! Who invited him? You said it yourself! A blazing light illuminating the tunnel! A curious case indeed. Are there alien visitors in Mole Town or not? Sounds preposterous. I'll say. The only way to know is evidence. An expedition to find the truth. Aha! Here we are. Aliens probably won't speak our language, but they will speak in different sounds. We all communicate through sounds. This is state-of-the-art scientific equipment. <laughs> See? Huh, neat. I'll take ten of them! Alien sounds? You're saying this thing communicates with aliens? I don't know, Unc. Now that we've got our equipment, let's go find that alien. Or not. I'm just where to take ya! The alien hive! Uh, uh, hive? Uh, there's nothing to be worried about, right? Sure! Might be! No, oh, will you just show us where it is already? Mishmash, are you coming? Sorry! I'm far too busy working on inventing a new flashlight. It's nearly ready. Ooh, awesome! Good luck, Unc. We'll be back soon with the truth. The reclamation yard? Most of the, uh, sightings have been around here. At least that's what old Coot said. Speaking of old Coot, he was just here a minute ago. Where did he go? Welcome to the alien hive! Don't do that. What do you mean? This isn't a hive, it's the reclamation yard. And that's where I saw them! Aliens, so, so I know it's a hive! Where are all the aliens? They could be anywhere! They're probably studying our technology to learn more about us! So they can defeat us! Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I say, we stay the night here in this really dark and scary place and we keep watch. You want to stay the home? N -n night How many times do I have to say this? There are no such things as aliens, so there's nothing to be afraid of. the life out of me. A hot, crunchy baguette. Ooh. I've even cut the crusts off. Mm. <laughs> there he is, Squirm, just looking for an alien. And we're going to give it to him. <laughs> what do you mean, what if a real alien comes? There's no such thing as aliens. Come on. Let's go!
What do we do? Dottie, what is that? If it glows like an alien and moves like an alien and sounds like an alien, it must be... an alien! Ah! Wait, 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 calm down, Wooly. Doesn't that noise sound familiar? Hmm. Uncle Mishmash? Daddy! Molly, you forgot your communication device. We thought you were an alien. Me? No, I'm just testing my new flashlight. Your new flashlight? It's a glowy purple pink. No need to carry a flashlight anymore. Not when you are the flashlight. So there are no aliens after all. I told you. Ugh, no need for this then. I'm glad we got to the bottom of this. I'll say. Luckily, we all know the truth now, and these creepy rumors that have Motown in a tizzy are over and done with. <laughs> oh! What are you? I was right! I'm so glad you suggested we go to the Molosseum, Molly. I'm so excited. Me too. It's been ages since I've been there. <laughs> Looks like Manny's excited too. Okay, very good. Right, Manny, we're not going anywhere unless you calm down. Oh, I may have picked the wrong time to take a stand. I am so sorry, Molly. The yo-yo just slipped from my hand. Oh, I'm fine. Maybe your yo-yo even knocked a little sense into me. Oh, Mona Lisa. I didn't know you could yo-yo. Neither did I. Can you show us some tricks? Okay. Brilliant, Mona Lisa. You're amazing. You should perform at tomorrow night's talent show. Haven't you heard? The show has been cancelled. Cancelled? Why? Uh, lack of interest. Haven't you noticed? Every year, less and less moles show up. What? I love the talent show. <laughs> I guess the show has lost its luster. But it's an annual mole town tradition. We've got to keep it going. And if nobody else will, then I guess it's up to me. Yay! Awesome! The only problem is, I've got no idea where to find talent. <laughs> Manny, we're trying to be serious here. We've got to advertise for auditions right that way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then we can help you choose the talent to put in the show. Oh, that sounds great. I really wouldn't know talent if it hit me in the face. <laughs> Manny, we don't have time for games. Motown has talent auditions today. Here you go. Take a flyer. One of us has to approve the act, and it gets through to the show. I got it. But I should warn you both. I'm pretty hard to please. All right, then. Let's see some talent. Who's up first? I'm Melanie. I'm Molly. I'm Trey. Sacre bleu. I'm not sure this is the kind of talent we're looking for. Oh, my grubs. Did you see that? That was amazing. Amazing. Gold star. Well, one vote. So you're in the show. Next contestant. OK, what will you perform for us today? Oh, just you wait. Z equals the square root of Y minus Pythagorean's theorem. This is really high. 
is that I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. Amazing, amazing! Y, Z equals the square root of Y minus Pythagorean's theorem, which goes down the uh, quadratic uh, formula. I don't want to be mean, but the music, the dancing, you see the blast at the end? Incredible talent! Um, have you ever tried mime? Gold star, full marks! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the formula for tea. I will now spin several points. As I add Grub Free Cupcakes, may I draw your attention to the spinning wheel where our volunteer... Uh, not a volunteer. I throw the cupcakes from my plates at our volunteer. Uh, hello again, not a volunteer. Oh. Delivering him his hot and moist Grub Free Cupcake without spilling a crumb or harming the volunteer. I just kept in to get a glass of water. Thank you, Grand Cafe Mole. Open every day! Ooh, not bad! Welcome, ladies and gentlemoles. Meet Squirm the Worm and his good friend, Squirmel Stillskin. Say hello, Squirmel Stillskin. Hello. What kind of name is Squirmel Stillskin anyway? That's just humiliating. Excuse me? Who names a worm a cutesy name like that? Am I right, my little slimy friend? You crack me up! That's it! I don't have to sit here and be insulted! I'd like to introduce the mysterious disappearing cabinet trick! A wave of my magic wand and voila! Gold star! All the star! Give her all the stars! Do we have any stars left? We'll be doing juggling. Dirty dishes style. Oh, you're swaying and you're moving and I'm feeling it. Oh, I loved it. Full stars. Ah, I've seen better. That's cheating. Wow, looks like we've pretty much selected everybody. Let's get ready for the show. No one's shown up yet. How could that be? We put the correct time on the posters, didn't we? Yeah, I know we did. I double checked. And then I triple check my double check, and then I quadruple checked it. Well, I guess we can delay the start a little bit. I'm sure people will start showing up soon. Any minute now. Maybe there's some kind of traffic issue. Molly, I don't think waiting any longer is fair to the performers. But don't they want to perform to an audience? Probably, but I think they're tired of waiting. I'm bursting with unexpressed artistry! We want to get out there! Okay, well, I guess the show must go on then. It's just nobody came. You, 
All of you, you're performing your hearts out, but there's no one here to see it. What do you mean nobody's here? Are you listening to these ovations? It's a mad scene backstage. Everyone is here. We're just all in the show, not the audience. Oh, no. Of course. But everybody's so good. They deserve a big crowd. Huh? Manny? What is it? <gasps> That's amazing. Now the show can really begin. Take it away, Manny. <laughs> The spotlight's all yours. a long way. Molly! I'm here! When does the show start? 